Hey, Pastor Alan Wright here to tell you about why I think that the book Free Yourself, Be Yourself is so, so uh, important, something I wrote years ago. Have you ever noticed that the only, the only thing we're told about Adam and Eve before sin came into the world, the only thing that the Word of God tells us about a relationship in paradise of all the things we might be curious about, <laughs> I wonder what was their life like? You know, what were they doing? What was... But this is all we're told as if this is the only thing that matters. Know this, they were naked and they were not ashamed. Paradise is the place where there's no shame. But as soon as sin entered the world, they immediately began hiding from one another, hiding from God, and they were afraid because they were ashamed. The story of the redemption of God in many ways is not just about what God did to take on our guilt through the penalty of the cross, but what he's done to bear our shame. You know, it's so interesting to me that I had grown up, gone to college, gone through seminary, done youth ministry, and was several years into the ministry before I even knew what shame was. And one day a Christian counselor was telling me, the shame is simply a lie that says that you don't measure up, and until you can do something to make yourself more acceptable, you'll never be fully loved. That's what shame is. Shame is the withholding of approval and acceptance until you prove yourself. But the problem with it is that whether it's parents or teachers or coaches or preachers, the problem is that by dangling out acceptance like a carrot in front of us, it causes us to always be wondering, when will I know if I've done enough? And it leads not only to this anxiety that might make someone like me become a perfectionist, but might make someone else just rebel because they just give up and say, I might as well not try. But it's so diabolical because it's sort of a downward cycle. I feel ashamed, I don't feel like I measure up, and that leads me into anxiety, which leads me into more sin, which then makes me just feel worse about myself. And something has to happen in order for it all to change, and that's the grace of God. For Yourself, Be Yourself, formerly called Shame Off You, is a telling not only of my own story, but of the power of the gospel to liberate you from the toxic effects of shame. And this is one of life's most important transformations. We come to undersell, understand what it means to be accepted in the beloved. For yourself, be yourself. It happens by God's grace.